My name is Major Gidoi from Kenya Army. Your Excellency, my question is with regard to the Kenya maritime border dispute with uh, Somalia. Sir, previously we have seen uh, Africa adopting an uh, Africa solution to Africa problems approach. And Your Excellency, as the senior statesman in the region, and with your experience in negotiating uh, disputes and the respect that you command within uh, our region, uh, is it possible to mediate the dispute out of the SEJ, uh, noting that a legal opinion is likely to have a, a ripple effect on how maritime disputes uh, are drawn, especially among the coastal states, and maybe uh, you can address it in the same approach you have uh, spoken about the ICC uh, looking at the cases in Africa. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, Your Excellency, sir. My name is uh, Major Vika Irono from uh, Kenya Navy. Uh, sir, in 1963, on the formation of OAU, uh, then Osage for Kwame Kuruma wanted Africa with one army, while uh, Julius Kambaragi Nyerere preferred a regional approach to African unity. I was wondering, sir, where would you have stood and uh, uh, as at now, what is the current status of Pan-Africanism in Africa, especially after the death of uh, His Excellency uh, Colonel uh, Gaddafi? And uh, I have a second question, sir, which has to do with the uh, integration of Africa. Currently, we have so many organizations in Africa, which are either regional mechanisms or regional economic communities. For example, in East Africa, we have uh, international, we have uh, intergovernmental authority on development. We have East African community. East African Stand by Force, which are very many organizations, should, uh, going forward, maybe collapse them and have a single organization for a particular region so that we can achieve unity of effort and unity of purpose in Africa. Thank you, Excellency. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, my name is Major Omolo from Kenya Navy. I have one question, sir. Uh, sir, most African countries uh, have very few women deployed on the war front, but this is not the case for... UPDF, because there are so many women in operational area. So my question is, what policies are currently in place that uh, KDF and other African militaries can adopt uh, or can borrow from UPDF that uh, ensures the balance uh, of uh, the women deployment in operational area, both in their work and life aspect, considering the uniqueness of women place in the African society, of them being a pillar in, in the family. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I am Major Ahmad Adli from Egypt Army. My question is, Uganda has played a private role in trying to resolve the Ethiopia and Sudan Egypt Nile conflict with a quadruple summit drawing in Uganda, Sudan, Egypt, and Ethiopia. Scheduled soon. So, what is the progress on and what is the prospect for peaceful resolution? And what is the potential scenario if Ethiopia take your natural decision. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you, sir. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, my name is uh, Major Roma. Uh, mine is also uh, on uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, scenario. Uh, sir, uh, no one actually knows uh, the exact origin of the coronavirus, but it has had uh, an unprecedented uh, uh, social economic impact globally. Uh, currently, sir, uh, there's what is called vaccine diplomacy, which is uh, being used as an uh, economic front. Uh, something th three days ago, uh, China uh, said that uh, uh, no one would be granted uh, entry into China airspace unless they are given immunizations from Chinese manufactured uh, vaccine. Uh, in the same breath, uh, European Union uh, have also come up with a policy on the same line that non members. Uh, uh, will only be granted entry into uh, Europe um, first with the COVID-19 negative uh, certificates 
in addition to immunization certificates. So as an Africa and uh, as East African region, uh, what is uh, your opinions on this uh, so that uh, we should not be uh, remain behind in this uh, economic front? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Your Excellency, sir. My name is Major Kelly Opio from Kenya Air Force. So you've already enlightened us about uh, growing socioeconomic development within East Africa. And in 2006, Uganda discovered oil uh, in the Albertine area of, of Uganda. And uh, this has uh, equally increased the growing interest of the foreign uh, developers, especially those who would want also to have a share of the same. My question, sir, is uh, how are you going to handle the growing foreign interests, especially the Eastern and the Western, who will want to have a share of the same? And also, Your Excellency, sir, the growing and the already flooded oil market. Thank you, Your Excellency, sir. Mm -hmm. Your Excellency, sir, my name is Major Kariuki from the Kenya Air Force. Uh, my question is on the youth population, and uh, the youth population seems to be a double-edged sword. Well, in Africa, one of the challenges facing most states is a ballooning youth population that is complicated by unemployment. In the developed nations, mostly in uh, Europe, the aging workforce is slowing down the growth of the economies. Uh, this brings me to, the, to my question, Your Excellency, sir, is how can African states harness this uh, often overlooked uh, resource for socioeconomic prosperity, sir? Okay. Your Excellency, sir, uh, my name is Major Musau from the Kenya Army. Um, my question is on the prospect for, of political federation in the East African uh, region. Thank you. Uh, sir, one of the aspirations of the East African community is uh, political federation, and uh, that is due to the, the economic benefits that comes with it, as you have earlier, sir, outlined. Uh, sir, as the senior most president in the region, uh, do you see the, 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 the dream of the East African <coughs> Federation happening in the near future. And uh, sir, what is the current progress uh, as of now on the, on the aspiration for the Federation? Thank you, sir. Thank you. The way we manage Corona, that was the first question. The, we, 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 we could see it was very dangerous. It was very dangerous because we never, we never pr play with such things. That's how we had also managed the uh, AIDS, because AIDS, when it came, we had to tell our people fr fr frankly that this was very dangerous. So even when this corona came, when I, I listened to what the, the scientists were saying, you could see that on the one hand, it was easy to stop because it was through breathing and breathing it wouldn't go through the arm or through the leg it would go through the mouth the nose and the eyes three points so then we said but yes if this is the case, on the one, and, and, and once it attacks you, it, it was quite dangerous. It would either kill or, or maim, maim in some cases. So the question was, why do we take this risk? That's why we had to immediately close the schools. It is easier when you have got a common language. It is easier. Then for trade, for trade you can trade with others. You can trade with uh, anybody, but for, for country, I think it is better to have. So I think Nyerere was more correct than, 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 than Nkrumah. Nkrumah was idealistic. He was pushing a line which I don't think he would get enough cohesion in the whole of Africa. It may be too unwieldy. Many regional organizations, I totally agree, there are too many, because you see, the, that's why I refuse to join SADC. When they formed SADC, 
they invited us to join SADC because those people are our comrades. We have been, we have been with them in the struggle. I was supporting them in the struggle. So when South Africa got freedom, uh, and they said they had formed SADC. So my question was, SADC to do what? Because the integration is only for two reasons. Either it is political, political and economic, or only economic. Yeah. So I told them, if you want to form federation, I'm ready. We form federation from here to South Africa, United States of Africa, I'm ready. But if you want only economic integration, then we already have a commissa. Why don't you join the commissa? Why don't you join commercial? Because commercial is about the common market. They, they couldn't convince me. Ch Ch Chisano is the one who was reading it, but I, I told him, I said, you are, you, are, you are not really sorting out. Because if it is a common market, if it is a market, we already have commercial. Why don't you join commercial? Ah, so for us, we are freedom fighters. We know one another well. I said, the trade is, doesn't, is not knowing one another well. Trade is about buying and selling. So, if you want economic integration, I am ready. But if you only to, 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 to multiply more, more organizations is really not. So that I, totally, I totally agree. We, and that's why we formed East African Community. Because East African Community is different from Comesa. Because it is the one which aims at ultimate political federation. If you read Article 5 of Clause 5, something, something, of that treaty, it says common market, customs union, monetary union, and ultimately political federation. The, none of the others say that. Commissar doesn't say that. The African trade, uh, this one, continental free trade area doesn't say that. So uh, that's why for me it is East African community. Why? Because it is aiming at a, a bigger goal than merely, than merely uh, economic uh, integration and then commerce. I think those, those two are enough. The desert, the IGAD, was a, a subgroup of, of desert to deal with the desert. So I think that one also can be ignored because it was dealing with the, not trade, not politics, but more dealing with the environment. So I think that one also can, can be, doesn't, uh, but SADC was causing just confusion. Yeah. But eventually, I, I, I hear now they want to, to merge because they, they have formed now what they call a tripartite uh, to bring them together, to, to bring Comesa and East African community and, uh, to, 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 together. So I totally agree that this multiplicity of organizations is, is without a clear aim, a clear aim. Why, does, uh, why did the UPDF recruit women? Women are very dangerous, my daughter. <laughs> women. Ooh. You, you put target there and you, you, you put a man there so that the women can show how, how, to, how they shoot. You will see. The, the forgetting of women is, I don't know, it's just the, the, the misunderstanding of, of society. Because women, remember, first of all, they are, I don't know why, even here they are like 52% of the population. These men you see are a minority. Here in Uganda, I think in Kenya. Kenya, they may, and, and the women majority in Kenya. Uh -huh. They are so. Uh -huh. So, how can you have an arrangement where you say Uganda is 46 million people, but I keep 24 million 
are disqualified from defending their country. Only 22 million. What sort of logic is that? Okay, the women have some, some natural roles like producing children, but modern women can have a short period of, of doing that. If you have four children, you space them two, two years. Within, within eight years, you'd have finished. So you, 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 you've gone with your, with, with your career. So for us, we, we think it is a, a mistake. It was, we, we had a big, uh, because in 1979, when we, when, we, when we were fighting Idi Amin, I recruited my women on the Western Axis. When we came to form one army with the Bottis group, they rejected my women. This conflict of the Nile, is really based on uh, on uh, wrong facts. I have told them. I have told. Uh, I told Field Marshal Mubarak. I told uh, Butros Gari. I've been telling the Ethiopians. But what are you fighting for? Because the big danger to the Nile is not the treaties, because they talk of the treaties, treaties of the British of 1948, 19 when. But the biggest threat to the Nile is, first of all, environment, environmental. Like, for instance, In 1964, 60 billion cubic meters of water left Uganda and entered South Sudan. When I checked the, the other year, only 40 billion were, was entering South Sudan. 20 billion had gone away. Why? Because of the environment, because of less rain. So, if you are concerned, that's what I used to tell you, uh, Mubarak. If you are concerned about the Nile, you should start with the environment in the tropics here.